a man has a pea plant growing in his lawn. In the quiet town of Brewster, Massachusetts, Ron Sweden, a retired teacher, found himself facing a medical mystery that would leave both him and the medical community astonished. Sweden, a 75-year-old man, had been grappling with shortness of breath for several months due to his battle with emphysema, a type of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Little did he know that his struggle with breathing would take a surreal turn. One fateful day in May, Sweden's condition took a sharp downturn. Sweden began experiencing intense coughing fits and a general feeling of listlessness. Gasping for air, he reached out for his oxygen tank, but his weakened body gave way, causing him to collapse onto the ground. With sheer determination, he mustered every ounce of strength and began crawling forward, inch by agonizing inch. However, his body's exhaustion was overpowering, threatening to consume him entirely. Just as his wife Nancy heard a loud thud, she rushed upstairs, only to find Sweden unconscious. Recognizing the severity of the situation, she immediately made the crucial decision to call 911. Within minutes of Nancy's frantic call, the blaring sirens of the ambulance pierced through the neighborhood, heralding the arrival of a lifeline for Ron Sweden. Paramedics, armed with their expertise and a sense of urgency, swiftly entered the house. The once peaceful residence now buzzed with a flurry of activity as medical professionals assessed Sweden's condition. With utmost care and precision, the paramedics delicately lifted Ron onto a stretcher, taking every precaution to ensure his safety. As they maneuvered him through the narrow hallways, his weakened body nestled securely within the confines of the ambulance. Monitors blinked with vital signs, a reassuring reminder of the continuous support and vigilance offered by the medical team. The ambulance, now a beacon of hope, sliced through the city streets, its lights casting a vivid glow against the night sky. Inside, Sweden's journey to the hospital was met with unwavering attention. Skilled hands tended to his needs, administered oxygen, and monitoring his vital signs, all while keeping a watchful eye on his fluctuating condition. Through the bustling corridors of the hospital, Sweden was guided to a room where his journey would continue under the watchful eyes of skilled doctors and nurses. The race against time had reached a new stage, as medical professionals commenced a comprehensive evaluation to decipher the enigma that had taken root within Ron's lung. With bated breath, Ron Sweden anxiously awaited the results of his x-rays. The room seemed to close in on him as the doctors studied the images, their expressions a mix of concern and intrigue. The verdict was in. His left lung had collapsed, and an enigmatic grainy spot lingered, casting a shadow of uncertainty over his future. Fear gripped his heart as he braced himself for the dreaded possibility of a lung cancer diagnosis. Days turned into weeks, and Sweden found himself traversing a labyrinth of medical tests. CT scans and MRIs became the norm, as doctors delved deeper into the mystery concealed within his chest. Yet amidst the sea of tests, hope wavered, and anxiety clouded his every thought. The relentless pursuit of answers seemed to lead to a series of dead ends. Just when all seemed lost, a glimmer of clarity emerged. A bronchoscope, a slender medical instrument, ventured into the depths of his lung, guided by the steady hands of a diligent doctor. As the bronchoscope revealed the inner workings of his respiratory system, a collective gasp filled the room. The truth, more unbelievable than anyone could have imagined, was unveiled. A plant was thriving inside Ron Sweden's lung. The room fell into stunned silence as the medical team struggled to comprehend the sheer audacity of the revelation. What had been believed to be a menacing tumor turned out to be a sprouted pea seed, an unexpected anomaly within the human body. The air tingled with a mix of awe and disbelief as the medical professionals grappled with the enigma that had unfolded before them. With a mix of awe and scientific reasoning, the doctors began to unravel the mystery. They postulated that Ron must have inadvertently ingested a pea that had gone down the wrong way, finding its way into his respiratory system. The moist and warm conditions within his lung provided an ideal environment for the seed to split and sprout, defying all expectations. In their explanation, the doctors emphasized the uniqueness of Ron's case, highlighting that such occurrences were extremely rare and virtually unheard of. They reassured him that despite the unusual circumstances, his condition was not indicative of lung cancer or any malignant the revelation brought a mixture of relief and astonishment, as the true nature of the tumor was finally unveiled. The medical professionals emphasized the importance of immediate action to remove the sprouted pea seed from Ron's lung. They explained the necessity of surgery to ensure his recovery and alleviate the symptoms caused by the obstructive growth. With their expertise and unwavering commitment to his well-being, they instilled confidence in Ron that he was in capable hands. When the revelation came, it was a moment of disbelief and astonishment. The doctor's words resonated within him as they explained that what he had believed to be a tumor was, in fact, a sprouted pea seed thriving inside his lung. The initial shock gave way to a mix of emotions, ranging from incredulity to amusement. Ron's reaction to this unbelievable truth was marked by a unique sense of humor and perspective. Despite the severity of his situation, he found solace in laughter. 
the irony of his first meal in the hospital post-surgery, featuring peas as the main vegetable, elicited a genuine amusement. It was a moment that allowed him to release tension and find lightness in the extraordinary circumstances he found himself in. Outside the hospital walls, Sweden's friends embraced the peculiarity of the situation. They showered him with gestures of amusement and camaraderie. Canned peas and pea seeds arrived at his doorstep, a playful reminder of the unexpected botanical phenomenon that had captivated their imaginations. It was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of the extraordinary. After undergoing surgery to remove the intrepid pea plant from his lung, Ron Sweden now finds himself in the comforting embrace of his home, slowly regaining his strength and reflecting on the remarkable journey he has embarked upon. As he recuperates, the weight of the potential consequences dissipates, leaving room for gratitude and a renewed zest for life. Ron's wife, Nancy, contemplates the extraordinary twist of fate that brought a humble pea into their lives. With a touch of whimsy, she remarks on God's sense of humor, musing that it could have been anything, but it had to be a pea, a tiny seed that sprouted into a tale that defied all logic. Their faith in the power of laughter and the joy of shared moments sustains them through this remarkable chapter. As the recovery progresses, Ron ponders the what-ifs and the absurdity of the situation. A playful remark slips from his lips, envisioning a scenario where he might have ended up working for the Jolly Green Giant, a nod to the whimsicality of life unpredictable twists. But amidst the humor, a deeper realization takes hold. It wasn't cancer. The weight of that revelation lifts, giving way to a profound appreciation for the fragility and resilience of the human body. Today, we part ways with the captivating saga of the pea plant growing in a man's lungs. But its legacy lives on. It reminds us to embrace the wonders of life, to find laughter in the face of adversity, and to cherish the bonds that strengthen us. Farewell, Ron Speeden, as you embark on the next chapter of your life. May your home be filled with joy, laughter, and the unwavering spirit that has defined your journey. And to all who have followed this extraordinary tale, may it serve as a reminder to never underestimate the power of resilience, hope, and the astonishing wonders that reside within us all. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey. Until next time.